make you feel, make you feel, make you feel Big box like a thousand dollar bill Or a honey bill This is my attempt at the ball cap method Um, I'm not an expert, not a stylist, but we gonna still make it do what it do. I totally forgot to tell y'all in the life update video that I did cut all my hair off. I'm not like boy faded, like, you know, Caesar bald, but um, I'll insert a picture of what it looks like now. I personally really love it. I think it's so convenient. And I have not had one time yet where I have missed my hair. I didn't do it because I was going through all that stuff. I had been thinking about cutting my hair for years. I just um, never pulled the trigger on it. And then one day I was just like, you know what? My hair is looking a little crusty, it's looking a little damaged. It was really like freeing letting go of that hair. I know it's hair, but it made me feel free. If you know, you know. But let's get right into the meat and potatoes of the video. So I'm going to be trying the Sensational Butter Lace. Butter Lace, not butter. Butter Lace. 100% premium fiber. Virtually undetectable HD lace. And this is in the style. This is Butter Unit. This is Butter Unit 3. So here she is in the box. I have had her for about a month, but I did not want to open her because I knew I wanted to do a video on it. Before I open her up, I want to go through some of the specs, the specs or the claims. So it says it features virtually undetectable HD lace, blends with most skin tones, ear to ear lace with a wide five inch deep hand tie parting area pre-plucked with baby hair along the hairline and then a natural density hairline. So that's what she's claiming. We'll see what she's giving. What color did I get this in? I got this in 1B. Y'all know I love dark hair. Ooh, girl, they got you snug in here, don't they? So here Thyeth is straight out the bag. Let's take the net off. I'm actually gonna keep this net because that's probably where I'm going to store her to preserve her. This is what she's giving straight out. This is what she's giving straight out the box. <laughs> Y'all, now, she's soft. She is really soft. And this color, ooh, I don't know if y'all can see it, honey, but she's giving so let's get into this lace part now like i always say i'm not an expert i'm not a laceologist i'm not a cosmetologist none of that i'm just a girl who likes to experiment and um lately lately synthetics has been what i'm experimenting with and if you know you know synthetics are not what they used to be oh y'all this hairline and this part no plucking no plucking needed so here's the hair well here's the lace so the lace is okay i will give it that um it does have like a brownish tint but just basing it off of my skin tone it's working pretty well look at that no plucking necessary like, I really am not going to play this at all. There is two combs in the front, one in the back. And then there are adjustable bands to make it tighter or to make it looser. Wrap this on real quick just to see what adjustments need to be made before we lay her down, honey. So, let's see. With Miss Butter. Let's see what Miss Butter is giving. Okay. Oh. She's a little snug. Um a little snuggish. Okay, so here's mama again with nothing done. Um it does go, it does give you ear to ear. 
lace. Now, for my big head girls, I don't know if I would say this is big head friendly. Now, I'm going to play with the straps and see um, if I can loosen it any more to make it a little bit less snug. But um, my hair is pretty flat, being that there's cornrows, being that they're in cornrows right now. So um, it's fitting a little snug, but it's not snug to where it's like suffocating your brain and you could get like a headache throughout the day. Um, it's very wearable, but it is a little snug. That's just a tip. And I'm, I want to put that out there for my big head girls. Without doing anything to it, like uh, combing the curls out or the waves out or putting mousse on it, it is pretty on the, it is on the thinner side. So I would recommend, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably comb, rake my hands through it just to make it bigger. I'm probably going to speed up this part of the video just because, um, yeah. All right, y'all. So a brief, um, just summary of what I'm doing right now. Basically, I am just getting ready to lay the wig. So first... I'm pretty sure that y'all can see that when I did the bald cap, the bald cap method, I didn't cut enough of the hairline, so it came down too far. So in the video, I'm going to basically like make that cut it back some more, so it doesn't look so you know hairliney. Y'all, like I said, I am not a pro, so I just be doing stuff. Honey. I just I'm gonna fix it. But um, basically, I'm just, you know, trying to secure this wig, honey. I didn't do a whole lot. I didn't do the whole putting glue on or anything. I literally just sprayed the free spray on there. And yeah, that's it. Because like I said, I take my wigs off at night. Um, please be careful when you are using scissors. I know some people, um, oh well, a lot of people use the razors, like the eyebrow razors child i feel like i would literally cut my whole forehead open if i use one of those so I, i'm gonna stick to these hair scissors um oh and the sides those side tabs y'all i feel like i'm have to go back and do a little bit more customizing of this wig because um maybe i can't be having at first i was like i'm just gonna leave them because like who's gonna see the size of my hair but then baby if that wind blow i don't need nobody clocking me so i'm definitely gonna go back and fix that later um as far as the baby hairs i was trying to go for that like you know thick but like you know the thick side baby hair look if you know what i'm talking about it didn't work out like how i wanted it to so i'm probably gonna change that too cut them and make some new ones um First, I'm using the mousse, and then you're going to see that I switch to the water bottle and the leave-in conditioner, and it makes a total difference. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just be quiet and let y'all watch the rest of the video. So this is the look. I was going to beat my face and stuff so like y'all could get the full effect. Honestly, I'm not feeling that today. I'm feeling very natural today. Um, I'm serving skin. I feel like I want to let my natural glow present itself today. That This was the Sensational Butter Lace, Butter Lace Unit 3. This wig has been out for a minute, but I finally got my hands on it. And I will say I am really impressed. If I had to give it a rating, I would definitely give it a 9 out of 10. I do not know prices off the top of my head, um, but I believe this price, 
I believe this wig was around $35, $36. I got it off the Ebony line. But all of those details, you know, I will definitely leave that in the description box for you guys. Um, so just some general things about this hair. Now, as y'all saw in the beginning, this hair was very, uh, it was thinner looking. It wasn't this full. So, um, basically what I did was, is at first you see me putting mousse on it and I wasn't really liking how the mousse, um, made it look to me, it made it look big but dry so what i decided to do was i took my water bottle and auntie jackie's leave-in conditioner and i just sprayed it on there raked it through and honey she's giving island she's giving virgin she's giving um uh, malaysian okay so that's what i did to give it that wet appearance this wig took little to no work I did no plucking up the hairline, the part. Sprayed some lace tint, you know, put a little powder foundation around to make it blend a little bit more. And that's it. And y'all see she's giving. So this wig was very beginner friendly and I really like that about that. The hair is soft, super soft, y'all. And as far as shedding, this is a wavy wig and it is on the longer end. I am 5'5 five five and it literally comes to the end of my back so she's pretty long and with longer units in general especially curly ones wavy ones you're gonna have tangling and you're gonna have shedding now will I say that it is excessive like even me running my hands through it no I probably won't wear this every day I probably would do this two days at most and of course, y'all know I take my wigs off at night. I do not sleep with no wig, honey. That is pretty much as far as like, you know, the major details on this wig, y'all. I really don't have any cons right now. Um, maybe if y'all want me to do an update on this wig in maybe like a month or two, let me know in the comments. But I really don't have any complaints about this unit. It's very like island vibes, gives me vacation vibes. And I really like it. And it, it really reminds me of my hair before I cut it. That's going to be everything for this video, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and make sure you please have those post notifications on. Clicking the bell notifies you every time I upload. Like I always say, thank you guys so much for supporting me and just being patient with me, you know? Um, I'm thinking about doing, making this into a series, like a synthetic of the month, where I bring to y'all a synthetic wig every month. Um because child now that i'm bald i be needing something to slap on my head but that's okay because i chose to be bald i'm bald by choice Her, like i say make sure you get into the bad sis go get you some money practice self-care and i'll see y'all in the next one i just want to make it feel